Hi, George Williams, founder and CEO of Reliability X, back at our series, our mini series on uh, some just quick wins of opportunity for both maintenance and or on the operation side to improve overall reliability. In our first two videos, we talked about alarms, we talked about event rates. Today, we're going to talk about rework. The heck is rework? Well, rework is either one of two things. Our maintenance staff goes out and executes a PM, but uh, creates an issue. And so we have a component failure or some issue that has to go get remedied. Either we didn't put things back together quite right, or we didn't quite do the job perfectly. Maybe we're rolling belts on, maybe we're doing all kinds of stuff. Um, and we have to go back out to the asset, that's rework. Another form of rework is when we don't actually solve the problem the first time, but we think we did. So in this case, we're part swappers, right? Oh, well, I go out and last time it was this, so I go get the part, replace the part. I think I remedied it. The line gets up and running or the asset gets up and running. I leave day later, a couple hours later, 10 minutes later, who knows what it is, but it's going to be a relatively short period between those two orders, between those two work orders. I have to come back out to the asset. A good way to find some of this stuff is to look inside the CMMS by um, very short windows, say the last 30 days, how many times did I visit each asset? And if you're diligent in making sure everything is a work order inside your CMMS, like you're supposed to, you'll quickly find areas where you're going back to the same asset. Another good way to find this is if they leave the work order open, you'll see lots of different part replacements on the same work order. Meaning, well, I went and I got this kind of valve, I went and got that kind of valve, it wasn't that, then I replaced the solenoid, and suddenly there's six components getting replaced for one minor issue that was solved with uh, one of those six, right? Usually the last one issued. So um, what's important about this is making sure each incident is its own work order if possible, and use failure code so you can kind of document, well, what issues are existing and look at those issues. So again, I go back to the asset after a PM, or I repeatedly replace parts on an asset until I finally solve the issue. Inside your CMMS, you should be able to pull that data out. If you want more information or help on that, you can reach us at ask at reliabilityx.com. Don't forget to like this video if you thought it was well done, and hit that subscribe button.